what is happening y'all well come on back uh so i got the new stave the bad news is i'm dumb um so here it is looks cool right thing is it needs divine glyphs all i saw was ethereal guardians and that was like oh that's those energy swords yeah i have forbidden glyphs so now i have a staff that i can't even use um you know whatever i'm not going to be that upset about it sometimes you make silly mistakes uh, besides that, a couple things. So actually, I reached out to the devs to get clarification on a few items. Uh, farmed up a windstorm rob. We're going to try that out. It's a little bit higher here because I upgraded this, but we'll see how well that does. Uh, where was I going to look at? Oh, the, the dagger. So I asked for clarification on this because, you know, recover stamina in more situations. Well, what exactly is more situations? It turns out that typically you're only recovering stamina while you're standing still. But with that... If you're aiming but not shooting, you get stamina. If you're blocking but not taking damage, you get stamina. So there's a lot of actions in particular. Let me actually, let me, let me pull up the exact list they gave me just to make sure I'm not like misquoting everything here. Um, do, 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 do. Is it that? Okay, so you don't recover stamina when you're attacking, jumping, dodging, aiming, ranged attacks, etc. With that amulet, you'll regen while aiming but not shooting, jumping but not attacking, and blocking but not being hit. I believe that's all of them. So definitely a really, really good amulet to have. Um, yeah, no, no reason to not run that now that we know what it does. That's going to be fantastic. Craft some Phylloxin decoction. Wait, what is that for? Unstable ore. Last word decoction. I should craft some for you. Okay, uh, I don't even know what that does. I do know I want more of those though. And I can always use more ammunition and more healing. Uh, let me look at these things, see what they are exactly. Burst on impact, coating surfaces with brightly burning flammable liquid. Uh, violently explodes to nearby foes, okay. So this is like a refillable firebomb. This is like a refillable explosive bomb. Poison bomb. The antidote. Well, let's go regular fire bombs, regular poison bombs, antidote, and then I guess I'll put those things on. You golden candle. All right, so that's good. Um, I noticed so we have people that wanted to meet us in the caves. One of the dudes is right over here. We'll talk to him. Welcome as new Sheriff Inquisitor, I bestow you the Teal Feather Amulet. Greetings. Uh, light Armor Sheriff. There's a new Sheriff in these parts of town here. Level 5 Whip, Level 5 High Blade. Sheriff's Edge, sharpen your blade with righteous fury. Conjure darts of divine energy to pursue your foes. Fast and fierce barrage of divine blades. Jesus, that sounds super freaking cool. It's literally like... Magic holy man katana. Uh what was the, the thing he gave me? Or am he gave me an amulet. Arm amulet. Wearing this will attempt to enter a world threatened by a blue heart runner. Huh. So do I just gotta keep it on, I guess? I don't know. Um and then besides that, when I went to go farm up the wind thing, I noticed that this is now open. And there's... Oh, I already fell. Stuff down there. There's that guy. So anyway, we're going to explore through this, see what exactly there is. Crimson Candle. A Spiral. It's a... That's uh, not sketchy or anything. Just like a summoning sign on the ground. like somebody ends up over there. So this is just the same. Oh, hunt an inquisitor. Will this work right now? Okay, no. So this this definitely, I don't know. I think that's a shroud invasion. The fact that it's called invasion makes me think, hey, that is that is the PvP portal. 
Um, get down over here. I saw the dude at the bottom. These danking, dripping depths. Our cause is good and our mission is true, yes, or perhaps the Inquisition is as much of a blight on this land as the mages they hunt. I am the Blight Taker Zix. I represent the Shroud Alliance, for I see blight in both mages and inquisitors. Eradication of mages. It is the suppression of morals in the name of violent desperation that manifests itself as blight. Wear the Shroud of a Blight Taker. Heavy armor. Heavy armor, heavy armor. Wind dagger and a scythe. Shrouded razors and blood harvest. How incredibly edgy. Amplify the weapon's power. Conjure a pair of spectral slashes. That sounds pretty cool. I mean, I mean it's deck scaling, but part of me wants to get, get the super... I'm the edgiest of scythes. Multiplayer. Page that lists the name and transgressions of other Inquisitors. Representative of the Shroud Alliance, PvP. Uh... Yeah, let's pick up Blood Harvest. Sure, why not? It's not like I'm using those things for anything else. Do I want the edgy Blood Harvest Scythe? Why, of course I do. Who wouldn't want the edgy Blood Harvest Scythe? That makes me... Con wondering now. Uh, where's the other scythe? Do you have stuff too? You do! Forbidden Glyph. Trio of skulls. A massive skull that... Oh, that's the miasma thing! So I'm gonna do of submerged blades to rapidly close in. Bro, those are all the spells the, the, the freaking necromancer was using. That's so freaking cool. This changes everything. So if... That's Hunts. What exactly are you... Blue Heart Runners are more than a nuisance. When they slay haze burnt husks, the warp of the universe is set off balance, causing creatures of pure chaos to spring into existence. Precious essence, the Blue Hunt Runners harvest, is a serious threat to the realm. The essence of haze burnt husks must never fall into the wrong hands. If you're at all familiar with the haze powder plot, you know of what I speak. Peace is your goal. Every Blue Heart Runner must be destroyed. So I wonder how the, the Blue Heart Runners... I don't know, it almost seems like one of them has more of a PvE element to it. Like, the Blue Heart is maybe uh, PvE-esque, whereas the Invaders are just Invaders. I think I might ask the devs about that, too, just to to clarify stuff. Because before launch, what I want to do is a... I want to do an overview video talking about uh, all of this stuff. Let me see, though. So, High Blade. Blazing Blade. Now I get to set enemies a light that uses rage. So this uses rage, blazing blade. What about some of the ice stuff? Vanguard, infused ice. Ice lance. Forbidden glyph, infuse and venom missiles on the whip. And venom on the half spear and venom on the daggers. Attack power by 50%. Jesus. It's insane. A glaive also. The glaive has electrify and storm strike. So I feel like even, like, almost any class is going to be able to benefit from, from this stuff. To the from forbidden glyphs. Divine glyphs. Earth spikes. And the great sword. Shrapnel bomb. Get on the hammer. And that has nothing. Half Spear has Divine Radiance and Health Restore. Same, okay. Arrow Blades, Arrow Blades. Oh, you can get the crazy Cyclone that thing was using. God, that Cyclone did so much damage. Arrow Blades and Cyclone. Damn, this changes so much. This gets Necrotic Edge, Amplify the Necrotic Essence. Yeah, I feel so, I'm so happy I bought the scythe now. Trio of skulls, belching death, and the guillotine. What about the glaive? The glaive would have only had edge. The high blade gets hungering skulls and belching death. 
encroaching death. Summon a ring of encroaching skulls around your foes. Uh, and this is a what? A mallet? A bludgeon? Class 2 bludgeoned. Drowning void, suffocating rain. Deep geysers. Damn. This changes like everything I knew about melee. Let's go look at that bludgeon thing that we just saw. Man, let me look at my inventory. I actually want to see. So in terms of covenants... Awarded by the Blue Heart Runners to one who has performed a successful collection of Arcane Essence. So there's the Sheriff that hunt the Runners. There's the Runners that go for Essence. There's the Shroud. So the Shroud's a PvP. The Sheriffs are a PvP. I think the Blue Heart is a PvE? And then there's the other... Uh, Sunbro Covenant, or whatever they're called, Dawnlight. Uh, I want to see where the Bludgeoned is. Also, we're only two, we're two points away. Two points and I can pick up that scythe. Uh, bludgeoned. Are you Bludgeoned? Your Great Hammer. Axe Thrower. Thrower. Bludgeoned. So if I wanted to get the Bludgeoned, I'd have to actually... Yeah, it would, it would take a bit to get to class 3 bludgeoned. I'm fine with going towards the scythe. I think having a scythe... Uh, scythe and stave will be fun. Because so I can always, like, hot swap my stave into something I need. It's a dawn light cooperation. Oh shit, what did I have active? That's right, the PvP one from below I activated. Hunt a blue heart runner, assist an inquisitor. So this is helping another mage. The one below is hunting a mage. The one here is hunting a blue heart runner. I wonder how I, I act as a blue heart runner. That I do not know yet. Um, and we have those three different doors we could open, but I may just go knock, knock this guy out for some experience. I found out, so these are like dailies. These just give us different dailies that we can do. Let's go, uh, let's go after a Pyromancer. I can use the, use that to upgrade my gear. Oh boy. Hello, friends. I'm not here for you. Hey there, buddy. Probably be better off swapping away from the lightning. That'll probably be fine. I was thinking more about the other day, and I think the reason I'm liking this so much. In particular, the, uh, the hunting, like the hunting, the, uh, hunting different mages, it's Monster Hunter. It's literally, it's Monster Hunter, you know? We're going after a target, that target has a set percentage chance to drop certain loot. We can hunt it multiple times. This is like Monster Souls, but in 2D. You got me with a couple pops of the fire there. Hey, what though? These daily hunts, man. There's so many mages out here. I could. It's not timed or anything, so I could just murder everything if I wanted to. Where did you go, Frando?
the fated pyromancer. Okay, listen, guy. Of blaze pyre, carp vessel, burning hearts, and all the loots from murdering that dude. they possess could grant us a new foothold on this wire bio war i'm just gonna go around and talk to a couple people because while we this is kind of like a i don't want to say a recap episode but there's like lots of stuff that we need to like check in on and so that's kind of what we're doing right now it's just going through large bag of silver small bag of silvers medium bag of silver probably just trying to condense them all into large bags. Valley herb. Poison bomb, fire bomb. Word about your exploits, Champion Era certainly won't let you know it, but she's quite pleased. But I took the liberty to show you some things, so I snuck into Ashbourne Village and pilfered the corpse of that woodling champion in Grey Moss Wire. It's all yours. Oh, cool. Scavenger armor and stuff? Let me, uh... So what did I just get? It's a scavenger's armor, class 1. And ear cutter, Grey Blade. I mean, I don't... I don't need any of that stuff. Um, I'll sell it. I don't, you know. I think that was the the boss. I'm pretty sure that was the boss armor. I mean, I might as well hang on to this just in case I ever do use it. Great blade. I won't need though. Um, Okay, um, what was I about to do? Oh, these, uh, level six, level seven. Oh man, um, so it's 1% more base melee, slightly less mages, more versus guardian and more versus inquisitors, whereas this has versus undead. Probably the flat 1% will make that worthwhile. Health, stamina recovery. Stamina recovery is fucking nice. 5% range damage, 7% already. Uh, purge. Level 6. Let me bolster it and see how that one compares to the, the one I had. 3.1 to 3.7, 7.3 poise damage, 
Stamina reduction and damage risk guardians. Uh, I might. I feel like the 6.6 .6 is like a reduction in the cost of the stamina that it takes for me to do stuff. Can I try bolstering this again? I can. 3.5 melee, 4.1 versus minions, 4% versus haze burnt, 3.7 melee reach. I think I liked it more before, but you know, whatever, I'll keep upgrading it. Let me try and uh, bolster up some other ones. Max health, physical defense, and poise recovery. Yeah, yeah sure, whatever. Range damage, chance of free ammunition. Eh, yeah, don't really need that, but whatever. All right, so that's good, that's good. We talked to you, talked to Blacksmith. Um, I feel like I never have my flat. Oh no, I have five and next I go to six, okay. Makes sense. That's the cooperation board. We talked to you. I already met its fate, but the foretold end of many wicked mages that roam that place is known to me. Act on this. Fated mage hunt. Praying giants necromancer tier 12. Fated mage bulgaron pyromancer. Creeping caves. Sanguine mancer. Wouldn't that be blood? Desolate plain necromancer 6. Hold the door here. Reaping Caves. The tier 14. That's harder than anything else I fought until now. Ugh. Sprawling Cavern Beneath the Desolate Plain. Teams of Bloodthirsty Scavengers. That's where I'm going to go next. Which means that we have a basically a Blood Mage coming up soon. Um... I mean, the, the lowest one would be the tier 6 Necro. Let's go for that. Just to knock another Necro out. Doesn't look like Desolate Plain. Looks like the dude's beneath me. I just want to get... I'm so close to a level. I'd rather get one more level before I... Uh, before I wrap up this episode. Okay, guy, thanks for that. Rude. Is straight up 56 damage. So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's that's nutty, dude. So the cold one, I do, I hit and I do damage over time. Which I guess, I mean, yeah, that, that can be nice. You know, damage over time, you're, I can whittle stuff down that's blocking. But dude, that's, God, that hits, that hits insanely hard. I could use that to just straight up like finish fights. What is this? What is this crimson candle thing that I've picked up? Search for a visiting invader. Cannot be used while spell marked. Initiate search for visiting invader. I thought the red was the invaders, but maybe red hunts invaders? I don't know. I'll have to ask them about uh, the different multiplayer covenants. Oh, that trap. You get me once, you'll get me again. Ow. 
I'm gonna try my new stuff, my Floxton. Floxton Boxton. Cool, thanks guys. It's just a refillable firebomb, I guess. I didn't get to see how much damage it did. It doesn't seem like a lot. Oh no, it's doing like 29 and some change. Oh, I see. Okay, so it covers the whole area. Alright. That's, that's kind of cool. I don't know how often I'd actually use it, but it's cool. That's, that's so good. It's crazy strong. Fight each other. I ain't got time for your shit. I have things to do. People to save. Necromancers to kill. No! Come on. No, what the hell? Why am I not pulling that off? Stop it. I'm not here for you, ugly. What the fuck? Why can I not get it? Oh god, this is frustrating. Yeah, like that. Isn't that haze burn? That's haze burn. Oh, there we go. Goes up higher. Give me your goodie. Fated Necro. You have most your hell. Okay, guy, listen. I get it. You're... Okay, yes, you're, you're getting good damage in. Oh no, too much death. Listen, just because I really like your scythe is not an excuse for you to just bully me. Oh my god, that chunks. That is, that is amazing. All of my stuff, feed a liver, incantation bowl, is that? Well, five offensive, okay. I mean, even if I lost, I would have been right here. Uh, but that gives us enough to level up. Which is what we wanted. Uh, and I want to see if I snatched up some of the stuff I need to upgrade that scythe further. Because 
now that I'm aware of like the forbidden glyphs on Scythe, I'm like, yo, like, yes, can we do this, please? This is what I want. Okay, and you're fucking crazy strong, so we're definitely upgrading that. Twin Void Pyre. You need Void Pyre. Nothing else needs Void Pyre. Thirsting Blood Mark. Uh, dope. Okay. Nope, nope, my way. Yink. And away we go. I'm so looking forward to subsequent runs now. Now that I know. Oh, God, look how close I am to a level. Oh, I really have one more level and I can use my scythe. Literally, like, I just need to go kill a couple things. Um, let me, uh, let me see. We're gonna literally just go down, we're gonna murder a couple things, and we're gonna get a level. This is the long episode, this is the recap episode. We spent a bunch of time in town, we've hunted two mages. I mean, I did say that, like, I needed time to basically stream, and I haven't had time to stream this, so... Yeah, this is gonna be the long one. This is, like, this is the equivalent of, like, a stream episode. God, I hate you so much. Oh no, boys, boys, listen. Bad dogs. I'll get my level pretty fast if I keep fighting that shit. Where'd you go? Come back here. I need your things to fight those things so that I can get a level. Probably go outside. There were a couple of basic enemies, like as soon as you get out. Just the guy that told me about like the sewers and stuff. I just noticed because this deals uh steals fire and cold. I think I'm hitting for both 53 fire and 53 cold when I do that. Like I'm not a hundred percent, but it did I it looks like I'm seeing double numbers. If that is the case, that's insane. Yeah, there's there's an example of like what the you know typically you wouldn't get back stamina blocking, but I do. Whereas if I take off this, oh wow, that is so crazy strong, man. That is, that is just, at, God, Drowning Dagger best in slot. Like, honestly, I don't know if I would use another dagger for anything on builds, given that that is able to... I mean, God, that's just, it's, it's so strong. Because stamina is like, it's your lifeline in games like this. So being able to get back stamina while you're blocking... While you're you're jumping, like let's go kill some necromancy stuff. We'll have this level in no time. Undead stuff, where are you? Come out and die, or undeath, or whatever. I'm gonna come back for you, door, don't worry. So close. Sooner or later, your guard's gonna come down, and when it does, 
I'm gonna blast you. God, that is so freaking strong. Got to kill like one or two more guys. Um, oh. That might do it right there. That'll do. Nope. I ain't got time for your ass. Out of my way. Hey there, buddy. I don't. There's nothing I need from you, so you get to live today as well. Back to camp, and now we grab our upgrade, and now we are a Scythe Lightning Wind Cold Mage. Dude's about to turn on the holy trifecta of bullshit. There's that. Lost to why does it look like it's purple? Like I can't go there yet. Wait, no. Uh hang on a second. Oh, I may have made a terrible mistake. Hmm. I think the problem here is that I don't have that. That's conviction, that's conviction, that's conviction. Ugh. So, I have to pick up... Damn it! Ugh! I want my scythe. I'm gonna have to get that. And then get tier 1 scythe. And then I'll have to get two more points for that. So I'm four points away from the Reaper. Oh man! What a mistake. Um, you know what? I want my Reaper. Let's let's go. I'm respecking. I'm dropping four things that I don't need. Uh let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can I what can I drop? Let me zoom in. Uh class four stave. No. You I can refund. That's one point. Class three channeler. I'm using a class three channeler right now. Pretty sure my current stave is a class three channeler. Uh, I need that point of endurance, so I can't afford to lose that. I can afford to lose that. That's just like a random maximum focus. And for now, I could... I don't think I have a class 4 stave. Let me see. You are class 3. 3, 2. Yeah, I don't have a class 4 stave. So, tree of skill, where's it at? Or class 5 on glyphs, but that's also 3 points of arcana. So let's remove the class 4. Oh no, I can't remove the class 4. Shit. Um, max focus points. Yep, we're doing that. Now I can get you. I see 2 points. 2 points. some hit points. I don't think I can. If I remove that, I think it removes everything because it all connects. Mm. Can't refund that. Can I? So if I'm, I'm curious, if I refund this... I refund conviction because I don't need conviction. I still pick this up. Can that's weird because technically I don't have I don't have the connections. So I guess that might be the bigger purpose of the refund, is you you refund to just keep only what you want. 
So in this case, I get rid of the conviction stuff because I don't need it. Whereas maximum focus, that's going to be good. The conviction, I don't care about. And we'll find out. Do I still, can I, yes, I can. I can equip the scythe. So 31.1, 23.9, the damn, oh no, well, the actual attack is 37.2. Uh, let's, let's try it out. I have the scythe. I bring forth the raven's dark edge of the night. That actually attacks pretty quick. Ba ba ba. Braids. Yes. This is going to be badass. Alright, well let's wrap up here. I am very happy with the progress I made here. Um, next episode we are going to be pushing out. We have three separate doors that are now open. So all kinds of places that we can go explore. And we're going to be exploring with our brand new scythe. So stay tuned and I will catch you all soon as we continue in Salt and Sacrifice.